Hi guys, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use color range to change any color in your image. But before I do that, I want to take a moment to say a big thank you to all the 1000 plus subscribers who have helped this channel to be what it is today. Thank you for your comments, your likes. Thank you for watching. Some of these tutorials I make are based on the suggestions I get from you all. And I'm so grateful that you've stuck around all this while. I look forward to us hitting 5,000. So please don't stop. Share these videos. Tell others about it. So others can also benefit from the resources that you know. So without further ado, let's jump right into this short tutorial. Color range is a very good technique that helps you to change any color in your image. It can be easily done or sometimes it can be a little bit complicated. So I'm going to give you two scenarios. One when the color selection is more complicated and then the other when it's simple. So with your image open, you want to make sure that your layer is unlocked. So we go to select color range. And then we want to use our eyedropper tool to pick whatever color we want. And in this case, we want to change the color of her dress. So we're going to pick on the red. And notice that once you click on that, it basically picks up on most areas that are red. But you see that these areas are not picked up. So to include it, you want to pick the eyedropper tool with the plus. And then we are going to just click in the other areas just to make sure that we have all the areas covered. So as you can see, I'm just using almost like my eyedropper tool around just to make sure that all the other areas have been picked up. You want to make sure that you pick up on all the areas. Um, so that's why you use the eyedropper tool. So once you can see that you have basically a black and white and not some areas that are gray, you want to click OK. So once we click OK, you see that all the areas that are red have been selected. So now that we have our selection, you want to go to the adjustment layer and we are going to add a hue saturation. So you realize that in the layers panel, a new layer has been selected, a new layer a new layer has been created. So all the changes you're going to do will be applied on that. So it doesn't affect the original image. So that's what we call in Photoshop non-destructive. So your original image is still preserved. So I'm going to go to my hue and I'm going to move the slider. And then as you can see, the color of the dress changes and it's like, wow, I love this. It is so perfectly done. So I'm going to click, I'm going to collapse that. So now that we have done the more simpler version of the color range selection, now let me show you another option, which is more complicated. So um, with this dress, this is a very beautiful dress. I like it, but as you can see, it has a lot of details. And if I want to change this color, one of the first issue I will have is that because this has a lot of white in it, if I try to change this, I might end up picking up the white also in the walls. I want to demonstrate so you understand what I mean by that. If we go to select color range and then I use my eyedropper tool and I pick the color in this, it looks okay for now. But then if I want to add and I begin to pick up the different colors in this. You see that it all looks good, but then it begins to pick up on the walls. So if I click OK, it's also picking up the white in the walls, and we really don't have the dress fully selected. So if I even add my adjustment hue, and I begin to change the dress, notice what happens. Notice that once I begin to increase the saturation, 
it picks up also on the background and that's not what we want so i'm going to show you another way that we can do this so that only the dress is selected so i'm going to collapse this i'm going to delete that and then i i'm going to use my quick select tool and i'm going to select my subject and then what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and use my subtract and i'm going to subtract the subject from the top and i just want to make a selection of only the dress So now that we have a selection of only the dress and nothing else, you see that it will make our work much easier. So if you go to select and then you choose color range. So now if we use our, uh, if we use our eyedropper, we select the dress. Now we use our plus, we wanna make sure that we select everything so you wanna make sure that you basically have a solid white and black. So every place that you want the color to be must be white and every other place is black. And notice what happens this time. Even though it looks as though the background have been selected, see what happens. If I click okay, I go to the adjustment levels and then choose hue, notice, what happens when I change the dress. Now you can see that the color is only applied to the dress. Even when I change the hue, it doesn't affect the wall. So you see that this really helps you to make a very good selection of just the area that you wanna change. So there you go, folks. This is how you use the color range to change any color in your image. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. Please like, comment, and also subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.